Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Julia Thatcher. I'm Jeff Herndon. Wildfires ignite across Kansas. Multiple agencies in several counties are working to put them out. There are two burning north of Wichita. One is near 53rd and West Street. This is a live look at that scene. You can see a couple fire trucks spraying down that scorched grass and the other fire is burning near 125th and Rock. That fire is uh, a mile wide. Butler County units also helping to put that out. Again, this is a live look. This is near 53rd and West Street. Multiple crews and again that scorched grass just covering that area. It is a problem today. Here's another one. It sparked northwest of El Dorado earlier today. It took four departments to get these flames under control. Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman tracking those conditions. Of course, it's not great. The fire danger is high. Mm -hmm. Grass is dry. We saw that and that wind is strong. And we're going to have to worry about this tomorrow as well before we can get some much needed moisture. Now we have taken the sensitivity of our Doppler radar out of Wichita up. And the reason for that is we're going to be able to see where some of these wildfires are and also the smoke plumes in the lower levels of the atmosphere. This is one that both Jeff and Julia talked about off 53rd Street near West. Make sure that you're being cognizant and not the spark that starts any of these fires. And then we can pinpoint two more across the county line in Harvey County. One west southwest of Whitewater in southeastern Harvey County. And then a new one that has popped up between Heston and Halstead. You can see the smoke plume that's being carried up to the north northeast aided by these gusty winds. These winds gusting from 35 to nearly 50 miles per hour and get this our winds yes they're strong today but they're about to become even stronger tomorrow which means high fire danger will also be with us most of our counties across kansas under one degree of fire threat today and tomorrow but tomorrow night we do have a chance for thunderstorms coming up in your storm track three forecast we'll time out a couple of different waves hour by hour and the severe storms that this may produce in just a few minutes back over to you